We go through stages of grief after somebody's died, and, and one of the stages is anger. And I haven't had any anger, not towards Carol Ann, not towards God, not towards myself or my family. Have we beaten ourselves up some? Yeah, that's fair to say. But the anger I realized that I had was when we lost our daughter at age 15. We didn't all lose our daughter all of a sudden at age 18. We lost her at 15. And there was two years during that time where I was a different person. I was a very angry person. I was angry at my daughter. I was angry at the world because something was going on. I couldn't figure out. I had lost control. I was a mean dad. I was a bad husband. I went through my anger. Six months before Caroline died, I vowed I would never raise my voice again. And I haven't. To answer the last part of that, my wife and I, a month after Caroline passed, both went on Lexapro, which is an antidepressant. Michelle's still on it, probably will be for years. She found Caroline in her bedroom. You can imagine, you'll see the video, like that's done. But um, I got off about a month ago, and I've been doing pretty darn well. I had a little crying spell this morning when the song, I think it's Alan Jackson, Sissy, came on. And I just lost it. But um, this is my way of my therapy. I think that pretty much answers the question. And I'm not one, I am, I am my own business. I'm not one to sit back and wait and feel sorry for myself in the corner. It's my therapy, and if we can make a difference, my wife and I, she's a little bit behind me, says, but she's with me on a lot of these meetings. She was yesterday at a church group we gave a presentation to. If we can make a difference in anybody's life, the sooner the better. I have this feeling if somebody takes their life that we could have made an impact on, then we haven't done our job. And if we can save a few lives along the way, I can't say it'll be worth it for losing our daughter, but it'll make a difference in this world.